did you make of the historic debate? Catherine Huntley finds out if it changed any minds. That it's a shame in a country of 330 million people that these are the choices that we have. Shared sentiments about Thursday's historic presidential debate. Age, a standout concern. Because Biden's an old man that shouldn't be doing nothing, let alone carrying that football. I knew he was going to screw up talking. He don't know how to talk. He's too old. It's sad. I'm concerned about both their fitnesses. Uh, you know, they're, um, they're both older people. I think that, um, you know, President Biden has served the country well. Right now, it seems like he is the Democratic choice. Political pundits and Vermonters also highlighted possible cognitive concerns for President Biden. Somebody's got to be sitting there telling him what to say or what to do because he can't do anything on his own. He doesn't remember his name, I don't think. As many people may or may not know, he has was born with a stuttering uh, problem and he's tried many over the years to overcome it and he does very well and I had no qualms about that. Some voters yearn for more than a rematch of 2020's election. I plan to vote for Joe Biden. Um, I did before. Um, lesser of two evils in my opinion, but I definitely am not happy about it. I wish there was a better option. Middlebury College political scientist Matt Dickinson says the message appears clear coming out of the debate. This was by no means a slam dunk win based on Trump's performance so much as it was uh, a potentially dismal performance by the incumbent president. Dickinson says the real winner of the debate may be Robert F. Kennedy Jr. because if last night convinced anyone that both candidates are not up for the job, he's the strongest third party candidate right now. Reporting in Williston, Catherine Huntley, Channel 3 News.